Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. It's Russ here from Porky's Corner. You know, don't you? You know. That's why you've tuned in. Before I introduce my next guest today, I just want to say a big thank you to all you people that hit the join button below and joined our members area. And all you people who've been sharing the videos and who have remembered to subscribe because 41% of you watch my stuff, but you don't subscribe. So come on, show me a little tiny little bit of respect because nobody's doing what I do in the sport of boxing on YouTube. Nobody. Uh, uh, uh. Those that are, are behind the camera. All right. Now, today I'm joined by Michael from London. Uh, I've known him a few years now. He's stayed at my house. He's been up here a couple of times. Um, he loves his boxing. And I believe you've just had a couple of white collar fights, Michael, haven't you? I have, yeah. Uh, you won one and lost one, or lost one and won one. Yeah. Are they your first fights that you've ever had in the sport? No, I've had a few fights before, but I haven't boxed in literally, it's been 10 years. 10 years, yeah. Okay. And how old are you now? 30. 30. You've got no distractions. You no don't girlfriend. You, I know you don't drink. You've not got a girlfriend. You're not, you're not bothered about chasing women, are you? <laughs> it's the twix fancy, no. Michael. You've got you don't drink, you don't smoke, you don't party pop. <laughs> uh you don't have a girlfriend. You, you you're a ve vegetarian as well, aren't you? Vegan. You're a vegan. You don't eat so you yeah. don't eat you don't eat meat. Uh you're about as pure. As you can get, aren't you, for a 30-year-old man? You live with your mum? Live with my mum. Yeah, I just try my best. Well, you're, do you're doing your best. You're living a clean life then, and you're working. You've got a job in day, and you're, you're going in the forces, aren't you, So Are you in the TAs or something? Yeah, I'm in the British Army. I'm just doing basic training. Oh, you're in British Army. So you're living a good, positive... There's a positive vibe about you, Michael, then, isn't there? I try my best. Yeah, when I was your age, I was shoving it up my nose in the morning, dinner time and night time, and basically rolling in it in a spliff, driving around with sunroof open, arm out at window. I still had a gold chain then, and I were off my box, and they're always on bail for something <laughs> or on parole or permission. <laughs> I don't have that problem now. Uh, I still got the gold chain, but other than that, you 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 live a totally different lifestyle to me when I was 29, coming up 30. Uh, so what are your plans now, now that you've had a couple of white collars? Is the plan to have another one? Yeah, I've got a few more coming up. I've got um there's a white collar fight I'm having September 7. To tell you the truth, with white collar, I'm I'm just doing it for money, really. But um I'm gonna yeah. join an amateur club. I want to have amateur fights. Yeah, and you know, just take it as far as I can go. Um, and basically, I mean, I've been around boxing obviously for years, but um, I never believed in myself. I didn't really think I could fight. So I, I'll give you a very quick example. Yeah, go on. Yeah. The thing about O'Hara Davies, let me explain it a little bit, because I think sometimes people think I'm trying to use names for clout, or let me just explain it a little bit. Look, I've sparred O'Hara in the past. You know, I'm, I'm like two years older than him. Uh, I sparred him when he was like 16, I was 18. Yeah, we've done rounds together. But I'm going to make a very honest statement, which a lot of fighters don't. Even though O'Hara was two years younger than me, um, I admit he, he always used to dominate me in sparring. Like He does punch quite hard, especially for someone of his size. Yeah. So I, I don't want to talk in great detail, but basically I just thought, uh, you know what? if I can't even deal with Bahar and sparring and, you know, he had, I think he had 17 amateur fights. The person I was dead and I just thought, oh, you know what, started boxing late, don't really think I'm good enough. Um, I mean, O'Hara Davies hit me with shots in sparring where it's like, you don't want to box again. And I thought, if this guy can do that to me, then, you know, so that's what my mentality was at the time. I thought maybe boxing's not for me, but um, I'm a different person now. And, just let me just have 20, 30 fights and see what happens, see where I'm at. Okay, then. Right. That's good. You'll do well to have 30 fights, 20, 30 fights of white collar in this, in this pandemic. But, oh, well, 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 yes, sir. 
Not world's upside down in it, Mom, but if you could get three or four in a year, that's good, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I've had two so far. I've got another one coming up in September. You've got 28 to go then, haven't you? Yeah. Okay, then. Uh, I, I believe you've got a few things jotted down that you want to talk about. The floor's all oh. yours, young man. All right, plenty. Um, well, basically, 2010, 2011, 2012... I'll keep it very short, don't I? I used to do interviews. I used to I, I used to have a YouTube channel. I used to interview Eddie Hearn, Amir Khan, David Hay. Basically, 2012, I just, one day I woke up, I thought, I don't like the way boxing's going. And regrettably, I decided, I, did, I deleted all my videos. So I just thought I've had enough of boxing. But basically, I'm going to start interviewing people again because I saw what Gareth A. Davies said. There's a couple of things. First of all, this this whole thing with Matchroom bringing these stupid celebrities into boxing, which I yeah. think is stupid. Plus, yeah. you've got Gareth A. Davies, what he said the other day. Ebony Bridges is potentially the women's, uh, the, the Muhammad Ali of women's boxing. And um, I'll, I'll keep it as short as I can. The thing about bringing celebrities into boxing, it's not really going to work. Because if it, if it was going to work, it would have happened by now. So when you get people like Maya Jamar, well, yeah, but she's not that famous, is she? She's got, what, less than 700,000 Twitter followers, which, okay, it's a lot, but she's not as famous as Arnold Schwarzenegger. She's not as famous as Beyonce or Jay-Z or Puff Daddy or Michael. So if it was going to work, Michael Jackson would have done it. What happened to Donald Trump? He used to be in boxing and he, he got out of boxing. What are we, on about, about, are we, are we on about here? You, sorry, you know Maya Jamar? Oh, Maya Jammer. Oh, yeah. What about her? What I'm saying, bringing celebrities in to commentate on boxing, it's not going to work. Or it would have happened by now. Do oh, you agree well. with that? Well, she's a nice looking girl. She's a nice looking girl. Is she English? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Well, that's good then, isn't it? We're giving an English girl a job. That's But when she said that Tommy McCarthy, she introduced him as Paul McCartney. Didn't she? I mean, that, that's something from Beatles, isn't it? And Wings. That yeah, he's the famous wings. Beatles Beatles singer. Yeah. So I don't really know where they're coming from. Yeah, the other girl's very good, isn't she? Laura Woods, she's very polished. She knows her stuff. Like Maya Jammer, she's probably there just to appease, uh, appease Anthony Joshua because isn't that his bit of fluff? I heard so, something, yeah, something so the other one's good, yeah. Hey. Laura Woods is Laura Woods is good. Yeah, she she knows her stuff, but she's been around sport for years, hasn't she? She worked at Talk Sport. So... But, but, that's, but that's my point though. Like, I mean, she's much better. Like, I don't judge people, I'm not interested in gender or it's like, but can you do the job? You know, and then it's like when you've got people that aren't experienced in boxing, yeah. all I'm saying, I'm not being judgmental. If you're going to bring Maya Jammer on, at least put her through a training course, at least teach her boxing. But when you've got yeah. someone that don't really... And all I'm saying, I'm not being judgmental. Like, yeah. I understand that she's there to present. All I'm trying to say, though, Eddie Hearn thinks that this is going to make boxing massive. Mm -hmm. It won't. It's not... Just give us good fights, but you're giving us stuff like... Ebony Bridges and Conor Ben versus some guy, of, some random guy. The other day you got Kid Galahad. Yeah, but Galahad, it, you know, just it's not really setting the world alight. You know, oh, you're set, papering. Over. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hang on a minute. Sorry. Galahad's not set the world alight. He's just no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm talking too quick. I think Galahad's an excellent fighter. Yeah, I'm gonna say. But that. I'm saying when you're saying the zone has changed the game and we're we're gonna take. Well, I don't really see it happening. You know, I'm I'm not gonna pay for any of these fights. I watch it on YouTube, but I'm not. Gonna... Michael, Michael, you you know when was the last time you bought a pay per view? I've never bought a pay per view. There you go. So you're not hardcore, then, are you? <laughs> put on put on Fury AJ. I'll pay for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you? I mean, there's there's fights that I want to see. Like, um, I mean, Errol Spence versus Pacquiao. I think that's an excellent fight. Um, but I just think right now, Dizone. But obviously they've only just started, so maybe maybe they're going to get better in future. But I just I'm not really seeing the fights I want to see. All right, I mean, what do you think? Yeah. yeah. Uh, look, 
the zone is just starting out in UK, in it, so there's going to be teething problems. But what you've got to understand, when the zone did start a few years ago, they gave Eddie Hearn a lot of money and he overpaid everybody. People were saying, oh, yeah, Eddie's paying everybody big. Yeah, but if Eddie Hearn's overpaying people like Tommy Coyle and Luke Campbell, well, he's getting 20% of it, so he's overpaying himself as well, isn't he? He burnt, yeah. through, he burnt through that money super quick. Now that they've cut his corns a little bit and said, here, rein it in, he's having to be careful, isn't he? And, and the game's changed. That That's what the game's changed to. He's not putting these great cards on. Everything's all jazzed up with light and neon lighting and pyrotechnics and all that, but who cares about that? It's the fights we're interested in, aren't we? That's what I'm saying. I just want to see good fights. I don't I, care about fireworks. Can I say this? Can I say this to you, Michael? Right? Yeah, sorry. Can I say this to you. Would you watch Anthony Joshua against uh, AJ at your call, or would you watch some show that's got fireworks, pyrotechnics, and neon lighting and fire popping up and all that? In Eddie Hearn's garden with a load with a load of shit on card. Which would you watch? You're going to watch the spit and sawdust one at your call, aren't you? With Joshua and AJ, oh. with Joshua oh, and yeah, Fury, 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 Fury sorry, yeah. yeah. So it's the fights that matter. It's no good having uh, the Wembley Stadium and going watching the FA Sherpa Vans Trophy final between two second division teams. You're going to want to watch Liverpool and Man City in final, a cup final, aren't you? Do you know exactly. what I mean? So we can all polish a turd up, and that's what they're doing at the moment. They're polishing a turd up. In my opinion, the quality control, which is supposed to be in place at Dazone, which Sky never had, because in my opinion, too many at Sky were in Eddie Earn's pocket and trying to please him and trying to court favours for themselves, thinking of the future. For example, Adam Smith, supposed to be head of Sky Boxing, how can he be... Uh, neutral in all that being the head of sky boxing when he's working for matchroom darts but he's supposed to be head of sky boxing too many people were feathering the nests and that's why it all collapsed around the knees at sky and that's why they're now at zone and eddie could either make it work and he's a trier and a hard worker or he could be in the wilderness so that's why they still want to keep the foot in at sky they're all doing each other favors because they all don't flee the nest this is why I give Brick top respect to Frank Warren. When he dragged in at Sky and went on his own, he went lock, stock and two smoking barrels, didn't he? Yeah. He had a, he had a go, didn't he? Box Nation's on its knees and it'll never be a force ever, but he had a go. Hearn's not having a go. He's using other people's money, OPM. Other people's money. Put your own money into it. It's like Dominic Ingle. He's got plenty to say, him and his brother, John about who's putting this show on, who's putting that show on. Put your own fucking shows on. Let's see you are put your money in your pocket. You've had hand out 40 years up there with that free gym they've got and all the funding they've had for years and managing fighters, training fighters. Put your money in your pocket. You might half your family yeah. on, on board area council as doctors and area council person, this and this and that. Put your fucking money in. Put your hand in your, in your pocket. Get your money out. And it's the same with earns. They're still using other people's fucking money. Get your own money used. So I looked at it. Anyway, moving on from that dad's own load of shite, what did you think to show at weekend? Oh, um, oh, the recent... Sh which show are you talking about? The zone? Or? Well, yeah. The, 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 the Kid Galahad. The Kid Galahad show. What do you think to that fight? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think Galahad... I've seen him train before. He's very dedicated. Um, yeah, it was a very masterful performance, very dominant. I understand he's not the most exciting. For me, I'm a boxing. I, I, I like watching technical. I like I like watching skill. Yeah, he's just very dominant. I think he's an excellent fighter. Um, I understand not everyone's going to find him exciting, but he's got a lot of potential now. A lot of big fights can be made. You know, um, he's, I think Matrim has signed him now. So, you know, there's the Josh Warrington rematch. Uh, you can try and fight people like Gary Russell Jr. Uh, there's fights out there. Yeah, there sure is. Uh, where do you see Daniel Dubois 
in the next 12 months? I mean, it's hard to say. Um, all right. I think the next opponent is going to knock him out quite easily. Um, I think Dubois is decent. I think he's still he's still capable. I just think the Joyce fight was a little bit too soon, maybe. You know, um, but he's he's still got a future. So you know, so long as he he, he shows desire, um, and then, I mean, listen, he to me he showed heart. You know, you got people like Billy Joe Saunders saying what they said, but you know, Dubois fighting again. You know, Saunders said what he said. Then you've gone and done the same thing. You've quit and you've disappeared. You know, there's no Billy Joe. So, so just. Ignore criticism, just you got to get on with life. So I think Dubois got a good future. Right, okay. Where do you see Joe Joyce going now? I think he's got, he's got problems, you know, because he was getting hit so many times. Um, I don't think he can beat Joshua, you know, because oh. if, if he gets a mandatory shot, you know, he got hit a lot of times by Takam. You know, if you get hit that many times by Joshua, you know... There's no such thing as an invincible chin. Um, but any, look, anything can happen. Maybe it was a bad day at the office, but he, he really needs to work on his defence. He gets hit too yeah. much. Yeah. Yeah, I have the same problem myself. Uh, OK. Uh, I've just been speaking with Mickey Theo regarding... Mick Ennis's uh, signings that he's made from from debut, you know, Carl Frox, Tyson Fury, Yui Fury, uh, Darren Barker, Chris Eubank Jr., Kid Galahad. You feel that Mick Ennis is the best talent spotted out there that hasn't got his tongue up the arseholes of the EIS lot up at Sheffield, you know, the Olympians. I know he probably is, you know, I think... I'll say about Eddie, maybe I'll give him a bit too much stick, you know, but look, Eddie, Eddie Hearn's an excellent talker, he's an excellent salesman, but then what happens, um, he's, he's excellent at his job, he is an excellent promoter, but then the problem with boxing fans or people in general, you overlook other people, so someone like Mick Hennessy, he's not the talker that Eddie Hearn is, but when it comes to boxing knowledge, I'd say Mick, Hen Mick Hennessy knows boxing better than Eddie Hearn does. And Mick Hennessy's brought so many talents through. Because um, anybody can go to the English Institute of Sport. Like anybody can... Say you've got an Olympic gold medalist, like uh, Yafai. Yafai won the other day. It doesn't take a genius to, oh, you know, Yafai, we're going to give you a contract. But to do what Hennessy's done, where he's taken non-medalists, and he's, he's, he's seen these people, and he's taken them far... That's that's impressive, and it, it doesn't yeah. get the credit he deserves, you yeah. know. But I tell you this: I do think a lot of people are going to start coming through. Promoters, you got Eddie Hearn, you got uh, the Sowlands are coming. I think Hennessy can do something. I want to see more competition now. I don't just just Eddie Hearn and Frank all the time, you know. I want to see new people. Okay, what do you think about the Varda testing? There's nothing on their website to say that. Dickens and Galahad were tested by Varda at the weekend. So who were they tested by? Will it have been USADA or is there an independent company testing them in the UK? I don't know, but none of them are registered by Varda, which is the main testing one, the one that uh, is catching everybody at the moment. So do you, have you heard anything about the testing and whether they were tested at the weekend? Uh, what do you think? We're not trying to put any dampers on anybody's performance oh, yeah, yeah. or say that anybody's been cheating. It's just that somebody mentioned it to me, somebody who I trust and listen to, that there were none of them were registered by VADA. And I'm just wondering if anybody's heard anything about any testing because normally in these, case, in these world title fights, as soon as they get drug tested leading up to it or afterwards, they're putting screenshots up saying, oh, look, we've just been drug tested, but... There hasn't been any of that. And does anybody know, or do you know, if there is any testing going on at the moment because of the pandemic? Because there's people saying that people seem to be winning fights out there at the moment and nobody's mentioned anything about anybody getting tested or anything like that. Is there any testing going on out there at the moment? I don't know. I mean, does anybody know? Do you? No? No? So um, we I'll bring that. 
Go on. Oh. Go on, sorry. Um, I'll answer your question and I'm going to bring up something very interesting. I'm yeah, gonna accuse some. I'm gonna accuse somebody in boxing of cheating. I'm. I'm gonna bring. In, in your up. opinion, this is yeah, 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 yeah. I won't. I'll name them. I'll come to them in a minute. Ooh, God, I'm. Not, I'm not talking God. about Galahads. Um. Okay. I'll, I'll tell you who. It, I'll tell you who it is. Yet. It happened years ago. I'm not gonna say who told me because they, they're not gonna. I know they're not gonna want their name on camera, but the Hey Klitschko fight. I. I overheard someone talking about it. they know david hay quite well and then they were talking about it and they said hay was on something for the klitschko fight there was no testing for the klitschko fight and um it was someone who knew he, he knew hay quite well again i'm not going to name them because I, I, they're not when they see me it's going to be awkward but what i'm trying to get at uh, drug cheating is a problem in boxing. If you don't think people do some, I can't, I don't know how many people do, but people do use performance enhancing drugs. Let some me just, people, let me just say this to so, you. Right? You've you, you, you heard a conversation that's hearsay. Some people yeah. talking about David. There's no proof that David A's took out, then, is there? No proof, is there? No. Well, there you go. You, there you, go. you, you shouldn't really be saying that, then, should you, really? Come on. Well, you know, I'm I'm just trying to give people an insight into boxing. Give me the fucking know. guy's name who told you. Get no, he's not going to want his name. <laughs> he's not going to want his fucking name. Fucking shut up, then. <laughs> well, I'm just talking. Yeah, I'm just... fucking talking a lot of shit. I'm I'm not there. I'm I'm not. I, I I can't say who it was that. But right, oh, but you know, right, okay, putting no. hay aside, you do know that people take drugs in boxing. All right, look at Canelo. They're trying to say it was the beef or whatever, you know, people take drugs as a shortcut. And like, for, forget what I said about, hey, if, you know, yeah, if you yeah, don't yeah. want to, but. No, I'm not letting it out. It's your opinion. You've heard some, look, all I'm saying is this. In a court of law, David Day won't even be fucking charged. It won't get to court. But you've heard some people chatting, saying David Day's had performance and had some drugs. And this is, this is our problem with social media. You mentioned it on here. Fair enough. We don't like anything like that. But there is no proof, is there? That David Day is a big Jew said. Well, I can't prove it. Well, you can't prove it. Well, no, let's fucking not mention it then because I don't want David Day's lawyers firing a letter off at me, do we? There's no proof, is there? David Day don't fight no more. And he's never failed a dope test in his life. But And I think there were testing for the Vladimir fight, to be honest. I don't know where you got it from that there weren't testing. There were low, there were Someone... Loads of, Go on, there were loads no, but, of belts. Uh, Michael, fucking shut up yeah. when I'm talking, you cunt. Uh, right. I have likes, you don't need to swear. All right, man, what I'm fucking saying is here, and there's no proof, and there were testing for Vladimir fight, fight, wasn't there? Do you know what I mean? So we don't need to go down that avenue of fucking, you know, accusing people, or it's ESA, in it? It can get into a lot of trouble for saying things like that, can't we? Do you know what course, I mean? Of course, yeah. We can, yeah, so in a court of law, David Day, wouldn't, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't get to court, would it? And we can't, ruin a man's character because if there were two people having a conversation they were saying here yeah, I've heard that fucking Carl Frotcher that were on gear when he beat Boote I'd be well what were you fucking talking like that you prick of course they were testing and blah 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 it wouldn't be very nice and uh, uh, I'm not a David A fan but there ain't no proof is there that uh, do you know what I mean and, but I can see where you're coming from if somebody in the games told you well it must be fucking gospel then, because boxing is a fucking rotten business, mate, isn't it? Well, I'll tell you who, who uh, maybe a better one to mention. Well, well both Klitschkos have both Klitschkos have failed before, haven't they? Uh, I don't know about Vladimir. Vitally failed, didn't he? When he was a kickboxer, he failed for some yeah. performance enhancing drug, didn't he? But you know, you know, I don't, I don't think he did as a boxer. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about Vladimir, but it wouldn't surprise me. I haven't got any proof and that. I haven't got any, any correspondence in front of me saying that. And it's a very, very dicey area to accuse somebody of doping. Now, if they've been busted for it, we can talk about it like Ingalls had three, three failures, hadn't he, up there? Dominic yeah. Ingalls, three of his fighters. And there's been other people that have failed. Tyson Fury's failed. Do, do, do you know what I mean? Uh, there's other people. Shane Mosley. Shane Mosley. Uh, uh, who else can I think of? Yeah, we can go, we can go on forever, can't we? I ain't got yeah. people at yeah. top of my mind. People who are currently in the news who, who, who fail, like Kid Gallagher failed, but he, that's in his past, isn't it? And 
he's saying he had took out and we have to take his word for it. But who who does get who does fail a test and say and goes, yeah, I'm guilty? No, can you tell me Nobody. one person? Nobody. There you go. Sorry. Look, if you get caught, as far as I'm concerned, you, you you're cheating. You're cheating. You know what I mean? Did you take anything for your fights? Of course not. Did you get tested? Of course not. There's people who take it in white collar because I know people who brag to me. Well, yeah, I'm doing a white collar. I'm juiced out in the head port. I'm like, yeah, you fucking mind? He said, no, I'm juiced up. I'm on the fucking gear. I'm a juice head and I'm going to batter him and I'm getting 500 quid or 1,200 he got for his last one. I said, do you think that's fucking good? He went, yeah, because it gives me an edge because there's no testing. So there's a lot of it going on in white collar. So if it's in white collar... We know it's in boxing because not everybody gets tested in professional boxing, do they? Unless it's a title fight. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know what the answer is. Uh, it's a dicey subject, but we can't accuse anybody without proof. But it is a dicey subject. But I do think they were testing for Hey Klitschko. Can somebody check that out and email me? Porkycorner at mail.com and it'll save me having to fucking run off. Uh, Michael here when he goes into fucking lunatic investigation inspector Morse mode. Don't you? Well, I'm just telling that. You, you know. don't like David A, don't you? You don't. You're not keen on him, man. You think he's great boxing fans for years, don't you? I don't mind. Well, I'll say I don't I don't go against anyone personally because he's not the only they all do it. They all mess, they all use the game, I mean. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. As I said to you before, like if I got if I got offered a fight with one of these YouTubers, I'd fl I'd flip and take it. Well, yeah. You know, I'd flip and date for the money, yeah. Yeah. So with yeah. David, I've got nothing against David, but everyone's at it in boxing. Everyone's trying to get as much money as they can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I can't hold it against him. If people are gonna pay to for him to fight people like Ugly and John Ruiz, well, I don't blame him for taking the money. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, John Ruiz was an old man when he fought him, and Audley Harrison, he had sparred hundreds of rounds of him, so he knew it would easy work. So, David A picks his battles, doesn't he? He picks it's his easy battles. money. Mm -hmm. I've, you know, battles. If I got offered that money to fight them, you know what I mean? Okay, then. Uh, Mickey Theo and John Fury, does it happen? Yes or no? If it doesn't happen, who is the one that doesn't want it? No, it doesn't happen. Um, yeah, John John just doesn't seem interested. He just doesn't want to do it for whatever reason. Mm. Um, and basically all I'd say, um, I mean, look, he's boxed pro before. I think, I think there's a big size difference. Yeah, I don't think he's scared of it's. It's a it's a weird one. I mean, I don't think he's. Well, I mean, I don't think he's scared, but I don't. It's weird how he won't explain the situation. You know, um, I I had a fight recently. I lost to the opponent. He beat me fair and square. Mm. I believe I can beat him, but I need at least say five, six months, I'd, I'd, I'd rather fight him next year. So if they said to me, do you want to fight him again next month? Yeah. I'd say no, because I'm probably going to lose. So that's a straight answer. So that's what I'm saying about John. Well, just give a straight answer. What, what is it? Have you got an injured knee or have you, you know, I don't get, what's the, you know what I mean? I, you know, if you don't want to do it, that's fine. But why yeah. not just explain your position? You know, or if I was asked to fight someone, would I fight someone that was six foot five, 16 stone? I'd say no, because they're too big for me. You know, so I'll give you a straight answer. So I'd just, just explain your position. Why is he so quiet? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, what did you think to Ebony Bridges' as fight with Beth Connolly? Beth Connolly. I've seen it. I think it's a decent fight. I think um, Ebony Ebony can punch, like she can fight. Oh. Um, I would like to see a Shannon Courtney rematch. You know, look, commiserations to Beth. You know, you know she turned up to fight, and that's just life. You know, if you're gonna fight, sometimes you run into people that are better than you. 
you know, it, it happens. Michael, you know? I'm losing, I'm losing yeah. fucking, I'm losing fucking will to live here with your love for Ebony Bridges, mate. Are you out of your fucking uh, mind? She had a pair I don't of love her. She had, she had, no, I'm on about with your, you're going on Crush. about a skill set. No, you're going on about a skill set and shit. She had a pair of fucking fishnet stockings on. Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> oh, did, did <laughs> you Did you it. see that? No, I've seen it. I see she knocked. Well, I don't. I just look at the fighting. Like she knocked her out. Like, you know. Fucking hell, mate. Well, did you watch it? Are you sure you watched it? Yeah. All right then. What did you think to uh, Johnny Fisher's performance against Danny Whitaker? I haven't seen that one. Well, that went on straight after it. I didn't watch it live. I said earlier, I watch it on YouTube, like the next oh, day or right, whatever. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Did you watch uh, Mark Bennett's fight against Alan Babic? No, I haven't seen it. I know he knocked him out. Though. But you seen Ebony Bridges? Oh, all right. Did you watch... Uh... I've, I've seen Galahad's fight on YouTube. Yeah, you saw that. Did you watch Fabio Wardley? Uh... No, against, but uh, against Nick West. Nick, well, he knocked him out first round, but now did you watch? That one. Did you watch Fias, the the Asian kid who fought at the beginning? Now, no. So out uh, of all the fights, uh, you only watched the Ebony Bridges one. No, I, I saw Galahad as well, but I was I was working that night, so I just you know I come home the next day, YouTube some of the fights. Yeah, all right, then, mate. No problem then. Uh, well, it's been great to have you on. We've had your, you've had your, you've had your say. You're very opinionated. I like that, honey. I like people who have an opinion. Well, in future, let's, you know, if if there's if we're going to get something right before we go down the drug testing, let's, you know, let's not name names. Let's do it professionally. What do you think? Um. Yeah, I guess so. We can't but, do anything um... by hearsay, can we? Because I, I'll have to fucking start revving up at you again and call you a cunt. You can't. Uh, no, I'll say it is. Obviously, we, we can leave the situation alone if you... Obviously, we'll leave it alone, but... The what, in future? Yeah, the person... That, just tell me who told you. Give me a name. They're not... They're not I'm Give not trying to name. say... Give me a name! <laughs> but as you know, as you said yourself, where you say things that people have said things to you... Mm. I hope, I hope maybe I didn't come across as silly to people saying it. The no, I ask, it, ask somebody else, don't you? Good luck. Somebody said something to me yesterday about drug testing. Like, oh, yeah, but I didn't come on here and mention it. I stored it in my memory bank, and I'll wait and see if somebody else mentions, else mentions it. I'll make a log of it, a date, and then eventually down the line, if that if that person gets busted, I'll go back. And I'll say, oh, that person was right. Oh, that person was right. That person was right. That person was wrong. Now, sometimes you've got to know the source. You can't just go on somebody saying that. Oh, is it somebody with a board license? Is it somebody who's got an hard on? Yes. Person? Or somebody who's got a grudge against you? You've got to be very careful because you can yeah. ruin a man's character by saying things like that. So I want to say that David A has never tested for performance enhancing drugs ever. He's been tested many times and always been negative. Michael's heard something that's hearsay. Yeah, they might have had a border control license, a laminate, whatever you want to call it. Still don't mean to say that he were guilty, does it? And I think if you go check Vladimir against David Day, the will have been tested because it were heavyweight championship of the world, right? There were more than one belt, weren't there? So the will have yeah. been tested. Trust me. Okay. Be great to have you on, Michael. We always have yeah. some back and forward. It's, you're not, you don't always agree with me, which is good. People complain and go, oh, okay, everybody agrees with you. You don't. We have a difference of opinion. Things get heated and all that, but we both love boxing, don't we? You're welcome at my house again anytime. I'll put you in the spare bedroom. <laughs> you're welcome, and we'll, I'll take you, even take you to that place I took you for a bike to eat. You liked that before, didn't you? Appreciate it. Um, yeah, like, I'm not. I you never know. look at it as an argument, but we both, everyone's just got to express their own opinion. Yeah, express, we live in a democracy, and there's no wrong with that. We don't want people on here that are going to blow me off, because there's none of that going on. We want people to have proper debates. Now, OK, you take care, Michael. Have a great Tuesday. I will. You too, Russell. Peace out. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.
Well, that was uh, Michael Apollo from London. Very interesting chat. I had to put him in his place a little bit there, didn't I? Because sometimes people get a little bit carried away on here, you know. Uh, so I have to put him in the place. Because it's my channel, isn't it? You know, what I say fucking goes. I've got a late low down. I'm not trying to be a bully or load it all, all over everybody, but we had to correct the things that Michael said there because otherwise... I'll be on phone to my solicitor, Celia, Celia Keneally. And she'll be like, you can't say this, you can't do that, you can't do this, you can't do that. I'll be picking her brains and that. So the last thing we want is a haymaker ranting off. So for the last time, David Hayes never tested positive. He's an ex-fighter. And that was Michael's opinion. He did some of he said he won't give me a name. So I had to nip it in bud and show a bit of authority. And if people don't like that, it's simple. Fuck off. Go watch Sporting Icons. Go listen to his propaganda. Or Hatman Strikes Back with his tongue up. Dillian White's hula hoop. All right. Peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. I think I might make an appearance on Boxing Asylum this Sunday if I'm welcome. All right. So spread the news to Mr. Steve Wellings and the chaps. All right. The porkster is back. Go on. Peace out. I'm going to take my dog out now and get him sludged up on a Tuesday afternoon. Because after that interview I've just done with Michael, I think I'm going to knock off a little bit earlier. I need a stiff drink and a bit of fresh air with my dog. All right, peace.